Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Calvin Johnson. In this video, I'll be showing you how to verify if a user's password has expired using PowerShell. We can also use this script to actually check if a user's password is configured to never expire or when the user has actually last set his password. So if I go to my, if I go to Active Directory Users and Computers and I go to the organization unit called Admin, here you can see I have a user called Kelvin. Johnson. So if I go to the properties of Kelvin Johnson and I click on attribute editor, here you can see we have some attributes and we have some value. So what I actually did to only see to only see the um, attribute that has value was actually to just click on filter and then click on show only attribute that have value. You can see that if I uncheck that attribute, that filter, I now have a lot of attributes without value. But I only want to show only attribute that have value. And here you can see. So right now we have the account never account expired is never and if i go to the password you can see that my password was last set on a 77 of this year and also if i go let me just go to a different user which is not admin and i go to for example i go to nick and i go to his attributes and here if i you can see the account expired is never but let me just check the password last set you can see the password has never been configured for nick so let me just go to my start menu and open PowerShell. So I'm going to open the PowerShell ICE because I prefer to see everything I'm doing. So let me just take this down a little bit. And if I go to my, I just actually copied the write down the script which I'll be using. So if I just enter the following, it says get active directory users. The identity is going to be Kelvin Johnson. I'm going to actually filter on this properties so you can actually add more properties to it if you wish i'm going to show you in just a minute how to actually add more properties to it so if i just run the script you can see we have our name is going to filter on the name the password last said this was the date the password was last set but the password expired you can see is false and the password never expired is true so let me go back again to kelvin's properties and here on the attribute you can see that we have the account expires is never and on that you see the password last set which is seven seven well, here i cannot actually see if the password have expired or not so this is actually good if you are doing this for one one um, single user it's actually easy but if i were doing it for multiple users or you want to check um the every, in all the users in your environment in your domain environment to see if which user is actually password is configured to never expired or which user's password have expired so we're just going to enter the same so you can see right now we're going to filter on just every single user in our environment and here if i just run this selection let me clear my screen first i run the selection so it's going to actually run where my cursor is just run this you can see we have some users here for example i have the password last set for the administrator you can see it says false and it says never and you can see for some users you can see that the account has been configured to it's not showing because i've not actually configured any password for this user but if i go to kelvin johnson you can see that kelvin johnson has a password which of course is said to never expire is true and the password has not expired but for this account we can see that the password have already expired so for the other account actually if i go to let me just go to my attributes here admin and i choose like tina and i go to attributes the password last set you can see the password has never been set that's the reason why you're not seeing anything where it's all blank for the password last set and the password expired so if you don't set a password definitely it's not going to show if the password has expired or not so we can add more properties to it. For example, if you want to add extra properties to like the password last set. So let me just go to my let me just go to my admin to Kelvin Johnson. And here you can see we have all these attributes here can be added to the property. So let me just for example let me say I want to check when this user's last logon. So I'm gonna select the last logon of this user and then let me go back to PowerShell and one of the properties I'm going to actually add the last logon to the properties and then under the filter we're going to also add the last logon. So what I'm going to do right now is going to clear my screen 
and then I'm going to run just the script. Now you can see the last logon go actually give us a number, but you can actually convert this number to a more readable date. Because if I go to my attributes here, you can see we have um, you can see the value here, the last log. But if I double click, you can see it's giving me this value, the 13277, which I'm seeing here. So you can actually convert that to a more readable date. And also, we can also do that for all other. For example, I can actually go for the user's principal's name. Let me just add user's principal's name and show you again what I'm talking about. So let me just go here and add it to the properties. And let me just add it here. And then I'm going to add it to the last. Let me just add it here as well. So if I run, let me just clear the screen and then run this. You can see we have the user's principal name. It's now added to the list. You can see all the different user's principal name we have in this environment. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Calvin Johnson. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos if you have any question about microsoft of uh, microsoft 365 microsoft intune azure active directory well, windows server windows 11 windows 10 you can always send me a personal email and i will respond as quick as possible so i'm going to also leave my linkedin my um facebook um link in this in the description of this video so you can also always join me on facebook to discuss about windows operating system and windows server Thank you very much and hope to see you next time.